Today marks the beginning of Charles Pona's third murder trial. Already convicted of killing one man, he's standing trial again, accused of planning the death of that crime's star witness. 15-year-old Jennifer Rivera was gunned down while jumping rope outside her house. From the Providence Global Newsroom, my News reporter Walt Buteau was live outside Superior Court. The two murders will forever be linked with the murder of Jennifer Rivera sparking a heated debate over witness protection. In the days after Charles Pona was suspected of conspiring to murder Jennifer Rivera, her mother accused Sheldon Whitehouse's AG's office of not doing enough to protect her daughter. I went back out into the sidewalk and looked down. Today we were told not to identify this trial's second witness who saw the killer. He told the jury that he heard the gunfire and then saw the killer standing over Rivera's body on this corner, right in front of her home. When I first heard it, the first shot, I turned around, and then when I seen the last two, it was, that's when I seen the hand over. I just saw him ran to the corner and then disappeared. That's it. The gunman was Pona's half-brother, and prosecutors say Pona was waiting in the getaway car. Rivera was ready to testify that she saw Pona running from the scene where Hector Feliciano was shot to death. In the entire Hector Feliciano murder investigation, Jennifer Rivera was the only witness who could identify the face of a person leaving the scene of that shooting. The driver of the getaway car in the Rivera murder is expected to take the stand tomorrow morning, and Denard Walker, Charles Pona's half-brother, who's the gunman, is expected to potentially take the stand by the late afternoon. Live in the Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.